Oh. Ah, today's a perfect day to watch videos. Yep, it is. Like an awesome fella. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I wonder what my friends are up to today. Yeah, like an awesome fella. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I just wonder what my friends are up to. Yeah, like an awesome person. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, today's perfect to watch videos. Yeah, it is. Today's a perfect day to watch videos. What do you say, fellas? Yeah, today is a perfect day to watch videos. Yeah, it is. Uh-huh. Like an awesome fella. Yeah. I agree with you, man. Today is a great day to watch videos. Yeah, it is. Like a nut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. It's so interesting around here. Yeah, you could say that again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. We're going to watch a <laughs> awesome video. Yeah, we are, dude. I want to... Video we should watch. Well, I'll tell you what it is, dude. It's a Five Nights at Freddy's video. Wait, really? I love that because we are part of that anyway. Yeah, of course. Mm hmm. Hi, guys. Yeah, it definitely is a perfect day to watch videos. Yeah, definitely. I'm like an awesome fella. Yup. It sure is. Oh, oh, hey, Glamrock Chica. Hmm. Yeah, hey, Glamrock Chica. You excited for this? I sure am. But, what do you want to do after that? Uh, I don't know. Like, an awesome fella? Yeah, we don't... I'm not sure what to do after that. Yeah, mm-hmm. Maybe we could chat, have fun, watch... And watch more videos. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, definitely, bro. Yeah, let's do that. Uh-huh. But, wait. Uh, there's... What was you going to say, Mo Motor Rock Gator? Oh, I don't know. But so something is not right here. What's well, not right here? Chill, chill out, dude. I'm pretty sure there is something right about here. Uh, uh, you're right, but hmm, there is something mi- There's something missing around here. Wh what's missing around here? What? Uh, somebody, somebody's missing. Uh, I don't know who's missing, but. Probably my girlfriend. Hmm. Yeah, your girlfriend. She's missing. Where is she? Yeah, where is she? <sighs> this is awkward. You're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. What's up? Hey, Vanny. Yeah, hey, Vanny. Hey, hey, Vanny. Hey, what's up? Hey, guys, what's up? What's... Is something... Missing here? Yeah, something is missing. Yeah, something is missing. Well, who is... Wait, who's missing? Oh, uh... I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Yeah, not sure. Wait, could it be... Your girlfriend... Roxy? Wait, how did you know my girlfriend was missing, huh? It's probably because she was just wrong, wrong missing and, uh... What? Question? Can I join you guys? Sure, you can join. Yeah, you can join. Along. Yeah, definitely. But, so obnoxious that my girlfriend is not here. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's so true. I think I'm gonna go find her. Hey, can I go with you? Sure, you can come with me. Okay. Okay, I'll come with you. Alright. Alright, let's go search for your girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. Oh, why do I have to watch videos? I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. It's just... I just... I don't want to have this nightmare. It's problem. God, it's so obnoxious. I'm not sure what to do around here. God! I'm going to have nightmares for days. Shoot. I can't take this anymore. Like... I'd just rather play my key piano right now. I don't know about this. Oh god, this is awful. Awful! I don't know about this. I don't want to watch this. <laughs> I'd rather hide under the blanket. <laughs> huh, pretty sure she's around here somewhere. Yeah, pretty sure she's around here somewhere, but... Wait, I could... S I can sniff her. But, cause, we're animatronics. We could sniff people. Yeah, you're right. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Wait. Dude, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Uh, I could smell her. I could smell her traps. And, uh. Wait, do you hear that? Yeah, I hear that. What what do you think it is? Well, I I think it's an awesome thing or something. Or it's probably my... Wait, my girlfriend. She's crying. Let's go, let's go check on her. All right. Yeah. Well, we're here. Yeah, we're here. Let's check... Uh, Gator? Yeah? Check her into the blanket. Okay. Uh, hey, you under there? Yo, -ho, you under there? Ah! Uh, uh, st stay away from me! Hey, chill! Don't worry now. It's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, yes, there is. Well, hey, hey, hey. Why, why is there something that you think there's afraid? Because I don't want to watch this video with you guys. Hey, it's okay. I'm pretty sure there's nothing to be afraid of. How do you know? Be because, just trust me. Hey, 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 look, look, look. Trust me on this. Look, hey, trust me on this. Pretty sure it's okay. Just come on out and don't be such a scaredy cat. Come on out, don't be such a scaredy cat. Hey, chill. It's okay. Don't be such a scaredy cat. I got you. Don't be such a scaredy cat. Now I got you. Uh, are you? What are you doing to me? You know exactly what I'm doing. Just chill and calm down. Uh, you're right. I should. But I don't want to watch this video with you. But what was you doing under the blanket? Well, well I hate to tell you, but look... I, I... Hey, it's okay. You can tell me anything. You can tell me and your boyfriend anything. Yeah, you can. Was that my boy... Was that my boyfriend? Yeah. Yeah, it was. But look, just tell me and your boyfriend anything. Well, I hate to tell you this, but I'm afraid of creepy pastas. What? You are? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. Just... Calm down now, just take deep breaths, and get used to your fear. Like an awesome fella. Mm, you're right. God, I should. Yeah, you should. So, just trust me on this. Just take deep breaths, and watch the video with us. So please, listen, okay? Mm. You're right. I just don't want to watch the video with you guys. Why, why not? Just chill out for a protein shake. Just trust me on this. And look, 
Just trust me and your hood and your boyfriend for this. Yeah, so look, it's okay. Just watch the video with us. And look, it's okay. Just trust me. Uh, you're right. I don't know about this. Look, it's okay to be scared. Just trust me, okay? Uh, you're right. Yeah, the gator's right. Just listen. Yeah, you heard your boyfriend. Just trust us. Yeah, yeah, trust us. Uh, t so do you trust us? Yes. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. You hear that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Perfect. Huh, I wonder what's taking them so long. Yeah, what's taking them so long? Don't... Don't worry. I'm pretty sure there's probably enough time. Yeah, you're right. You're like an awesome fella. <laughs> Hey, fellas, we're back. Yeah, we're back. That's good. Yeah, that's good. So, uh, should we start the video? Yeah, should we? Sure. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Uh, please don't. Uh-uh. What's wrong with her? Yeah, what's wrong with her? Oh, she's scared. I taught her to overcome her fear. Yeah. We did. Yeah, let's start the video. Come on, you dang nanny varmint. Dad, it's all set. Now, who, who's ready to watch the video, huh? I am. I am. I am. Uh, not me. Hey, I said overcome your fear. Yeah, chill out. Yeah, chill out. Yeah, just chill out. Like an awesome fella. I'll go ahead and play the video. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. There we go. It was a regular Saturday night. I wasn't in the best mood as I had to babysit my own little eight-year-old. Come on, guys! <clears throat> Who's ready to watch the video, guys? Me! 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 Not, not me! Oh. Hey, chill out! I'm pretty sure it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, me too! Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna start the video, so calm down now, Roxanne. I don't know about this. Hey, girlfriend, chill out. Alright, alright, if you say so. It was a regular Saturday night. I wasn't in the best mood as I had to babysit my little eight year old cousin Alex that night. <laughs> my aunt and uncle were heading out of town. Girlfriend, chill out. Yeah, chill out. Of course, my parents just had to volunteer me. Yeah, just chill out. My dad offered to pay me 30 bucks to take Alex to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Would have rather stayed home well, and watch TV. But make well, this video is so fantastic. Yeah, you're telling me. Seems like a good deal. Yeah, I agree. This video is fantastic. 50 bucks. An extra 20 for whatever the, the cost was for the food and games. I would obviously pocket the change. Uh, I don't like and this. Girl, girlfriend, like, chill out. Yeah, you, you heard. You heard your boyfriend, chill out. Yeah, just chill out. Listen. Uh, I don't know about this. It would be like Chuck E. Cheese. I did, however, know that this place had a bad history. Closed by the end of the year. Alex seemed excited. Hey, just there. overcome your fear and pay attention. Glamrock Chica is right. Yeah, I agree with Glamrock Freddy. Mm. 
last show of the night started at around 8.30. Like a nut! I was seeing a help wanted sign for a security guard. I wondered why a place like this would even need a security guard, but I shrugged it off. We sat down at a table and I got a pizza for us. It tasted no better than a frozen pizza or what you would get at a Chuck E. Cheese. I didn't expect much more though. The atmosphere seemed a little outdated. Like something. For God's sake, this is an awesome video! Yeah, you're special, telling me! But it was still very popular, which made me wonder. What could have happened to make it have to close by the end of the year? While eating, there was suddenly a loud drum roll followed by a voice uh, introduced. I'm loving to this. Me. Yeah, and me too. As the curtains opened up, revealing the three animatronics. Me three. Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. Me four. Uh, sure not me. Animatronics looked old and old. Girlfriend. I was expecting. Look, it's okay. It looks creepy. Girlfriend, listen, it's okay. Just fall, chill out. Alex, along with all the other kids, seemed to be enjoying it. Most of the parents seem did you smooch me? Yes, I did. Just chill out, okay? Mm, you're right. I should chill out. I guess they made up for the looks. Yeah, just chill out and, After they and listen. Song, the chicken in the back, All right. Chica, I swear, turned its head and looked straight at me. Mm. It wasn't by chance. Its eyes were fixed right on me. I stared back, a little freaked out. Maybe they were programmed to make eye contact like this, but for how long? Oh god, I don't like the looks of this. Both the other Girlfriend, calm down. So yeah, just calm down. It wasn't oh until the next god, one I don't know about this. Its head again. Hey, it's okay, it's just pay attention. Maybe I was just being a little paranoid, letting my childhood fear of animatronics get the better of me. At least Alex seemed to be enjoying himself. The song went on for about three minutes before ending. This is so awesome. Yeah, you're telling me! Like an awesome fella! As the song ended, she could turn to yeah, it is a perfect time to watch videos. What do you say, fellas? Time, yeah! Definitely! I agree! Yeah! 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 What the fuck? I said. Ooh, this is fantastic! As he looked at me with a curious stare. Uh, I pointed out to Alex that the two girlfriend, were calm down. Yeah, chill out. As Freddy spoke to the audience, both like and my fake eyes were locked onto mine. My heart started beating twice as fast. At this point, I was freaking out in my seat. Why was nobody turning around to see what the two robots were staring at? Was anybody acknowledging what was happening? I got up out of my seat to go refill my soda at the fountain. Frightened to look behind me at the stage. I refilled my cup and started huh, interesting. New lid and struck. Yeah. I was just waiting for yeah, the song interesting. to start some kind of intermission. I just couldn't turn around to look at the stage. Suddenly, I heard Alex call my name. I had to turn around now. It's okay, I thought. There was no way the animatronics were still looking at me after leaving my seat. I turned around to look at Alex, but I saw at the corner of my eye the two heads staring at me. Oh. I dropped my cup of soda on the floor out of shock. An employee came over and asked me if I was alright. I asked him why the hell the two animatronics were staring at me. Just as I was saying this, I heard Freddy on stage say it was time for intermission. I turned my head to look at the stage, and the curtains were already closing. The employee explained to me that the animatronics... Did you guys notice that contact. glitch? Yeah, I did! It was weird! Until he hadn't taken me seriously. At least the curtains were closed. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> Yeah, it was weird, but I'm not afraid. Yeah, like an awesome fella. Let's keep watching. Yeah. I asked Alex if he was ready to leave, because I wanted to get the hell out of that place. He told me he wanted to see the rest of the show and play some arcade games. He asked me for my cell phone, telling me that he had to tell his mom something. Oh. I handed him my phone, and he walked off to the arcade games. As he walked off, I noticed another mini stage away from the main stage. It was called Pirate's Cove. The stage had the curtain closed and a tiny sign out front that read out of order. I asked an employee what it was and why it was closed. He told me that the animatronic that lives on the stage, named Foxy, had a technical malfunction in 1987, causing it to bite out a child's frontal lobe. Hearing this news, I realized why this place had a troubled history and why it was closing. It shocked me that if such a horrific accident like this happened, how this place managed to stay open all this time. 
I was starting to feel uncomfortable staying in that place. I, I wanted to leave as soon as possible. But I knew Alex was having a good time. I saw him playing some arcade games. I sat back down and just waited. I just wanted the show to end as soon as possible so we could leave. About five minutes passed until the intermission was over and the curtains were opening back up. A lot of the kids that had gotten up to play games didn't return to the show area. Wow. I couldn't yeah, leave. wow. I never found yeah. electronics entertaining when I was younger. Yeah. Alex didn't come back either. Sweetheart. I should have probably just gotten away from the stage. Yeah, sweetheart, just chill out. Hours, it is okay. I was curious. I needed to know, I needed to see what was going on and if these... Mm. Things mm, would still stare so at me with their evil plastic eyes. Freddy and Bonnie made jokes and interacted with the kids in the audience a bit before starting their third song. It was interesting though. Most animatronics were attached to the floor, only able to move from the torso up. But these guys, their legs seemed to have free movement, allowing Freddy and his friends to walk across the stage. It was incredible and terrifying. The third song ended, and I was ready for them to look at me. Nothing. The three robots made jokes and interacted with the kids, none of them even turning their heads in my direction. I felt a weird mix of feelings, relief, and discontentment. Why was I anticipating it? Why did I want them to stare at me? The last song went by fast because of all my thoughts. As it ended, the three friends started to say their farewells to the children. At this point, I was convinced that they weren't going to stare at me anymore, and that maybe the worker was right. Maybe they were set to make eye contact with people. It's because we're animatronics. We're supposed the to. Place was getting ready to close. Yeah, we were, we were supposed to. We started to head for the doors. Alex came to me and told me he had to go to the bathroom. The public men's room had an out of order sign on it. I asked an employee where he could use the bathroom, and she said that he could use the employee restroom. The employee pointed Alex to the bathroom. There was an announcement that the place was now closed. I waited for a few more minutes. It seemed that I was the last person there. Even most of the employees had left. I stood there growing impatient until I noticed something at the corner of my eye. No, it couldn't be. I turned my head to see that all three of them were looking at me with the same ominous stare. I felt like my heart sank into my stomach. I Whoa! Yeah. It was time to get the fuck out of there. I stormed down the hallway quickly, bursting into the employee restroom. Uh, I'm enjoying this. Are you? You? Yeah, I am. Yeah. And I saw Alex's shoes. Yeah, I am as well. But I'm not. It's creeping me out. For what felt like another five minutes. Girlfriend, I told you nothing is going to happen. So trust me, okay? Uh, you're right. But he didn't respond. That's my girl. I started to become curious because I'd been standing there for a long time, and he hadn't made a single sound. That's I my girl. The stall and As I knocked, the stall door creeped open to reveal nothing but Alex's shoes. Yeah. He wasn't in there. Wait, what? It's, it's okay. Chill out. I heard a yeah, you're right. I'll chill out. Was a huge bang. It sounded like some kind of door closing. I ran out of the bathroom to find that the main lights had been turned out, with the only source of light being the dimly lit night lights. I made my way back to the lobby, or at least what I would call the lobby in this place. Whoa! Yeah, whoa! But to no avail. This is insane, I thought. What kind of place completely shuts down and How's it insane? Oh, oh, probably only I don't know. After nine. I ran to the entrance, thinking maybe Alex was waiting outside, only to realize that I was right. There was a giant metal door blocking the entrance. Wait, I didn't know what? what think of this. I didn't know how to react. I was trapped in this place. Why would a place like this have a giant metal door like that? What were they trying to keep out? It's true, man. We're in. Yeah, it is. I had to call my parents, or the police, or someone. Alex was missing, and I was trapped in there. I reached into my pocket for my phone. Empty. I remember that I had given it to Alex. Sure did! I tried to calm myself. Yeah! Down. I can't be the only person in the building, I thought to myself. 
And there had to be a phone somewhere in the building. I walked down every hallway I could find looking for a phone, and occasionally shouting for somebody. The only phone I found so far was disconnected. If it weren't for the fact that Alex was by himself on a Saturday night, I wouldn't have been in such a panic. What the fuck happened to him? What? What? Why were his shoes in the store? Wait, what? What if somebody had taken him? I had to call the police, but there was no fucking phone. I walked down another hallway finding a door I hadn't checked yet that had a staff-only sign. I opened the door only to discover a room full of animatronic body parts. The room smelled foul. The parts in service room. In there, yeah, in the parts in service room. Substance. I got it out of that room as quickly as I entered. Seeing those animatronic parts made me think that maybe Alex was sitting in the dining area, waiting. The dining area was right outside the hall I was in, so I thought I might as well check. Navigating the barely lit building was pretty difficult, but also creepy. When I got to the dining area, I called for Alex, but there was no response. Suddenly, I noticed something through the corner of my eye. I could see that the curtains on the stage had been opened again. I, I could have sworn they'd been shut after the show. Wait, what? I turn my head you, what? What I was expecting to see. But before I could Guys, are you to listening think, to this? Yeah. To stage yeah. To see Chica and Freddy on the stage. Yeah. There was a third yeah. one. I knew there was a third one. The bunny. The bunny was missing. Where was the bunny? I was able to make out in the dark the heads of the two animatronics facing me. I ran out of there as quickly as I could back into the dark hallways. I stopped to catch my breath, but I heard something coming down from the hall. There were footsteps coming my way. Oh, I snap. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I ran closer yeah, to the, uh -oh. of the footsteps, yelling for help. As I got closer, I slowed down, noticing that the footsteps were very heavy. Unnaturally heavy for a human being. Yep. I stopped thinking something It was probably is like the flickering light uh, the animatronic version of us, but different. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah. Like, what the heck? He's like a knucklehead. Why did the video pause? I... I, I don't know. It's probably still playing. Let out a scream. There we go. started walking toward me. And at that instant, I ran to the nearest room, which happened to be a security room. I looked for anything Just to Just chill out. With. There were no weapons. Ooh. Chill out, dude. The video was still playing. It's just... The footsteps were getting closer. It's just the video had to pause for a few seconds. I ran to the oh, you're right. Fist onto the button, causing a giant door to close mm. down to the floor. The robot banged on the door for a few seconds. Before the only noise was the buzzing sound of the dim fluorescent light in the room. Ooh, How the office. Possible? Yeah! How could these animatronic performers have the ability to roam freely? Why the hell was that thing following me? These things... Are they... Alive? Of course! These nightmarish thoughts kept pouring into my mind. That I almost didn't even notice the heavy footsteps coming from We're the We're supposed direction. to be alive. We're supposed to walk around. around. Yeah! Yeah! With an identical door switch. I immediately sprang to the door, slamming my hand on the button. Not wanting to see what was coming down that hall. I sat in the room. Feeling safe for a few moments until I remembered that Alex was missing. I had to find a way out of there. But there was no way I could step back huh. into those what? hallways until I knew those things were gone. Huh. What? There were two Let's check the room how long the video the is. With the view I'll check. The I couldn't see anything outside though. It was pitch black. Huh. I noticed that under what? the door buttons on both Almost sides. Halfway. There were two buttons that were labeled white. Guys, half minutes left. The security office. Right. Right. I needed to make sure that the robots weren't outside. Right. I flipped the right. on the left side of the room to reveal hey, the face chill out. It's the okay. I hit the light switch again to turn it off. I didn't want to see that thing. I didn't want to see that thing looking at me through the glass. I moved across the room to the other side, pressing the light switch. I almost fell to the floor in fear. It was Chica, the animatronic chicken. The room is me, but different. Was open, disturbing yeah. The side, revealing yeah. a second pair of teeth inside of her beak. His teeth were smaller and seemed human-like. She banged her hands on the glass, keeping eye contact with me. I shut the light when I couldn't take the sight of the thing anymore. I sat in the chair in the middle of the room, balled up like a baby. This can't be happening. 
I kept telling myself. Both robots reminded me of their presence with constant knocking on the glass. This is You're fantastic! You're telling me? I didn't know yeah. what they were going to do to me if they got me, but I imagined the worst. I couldn't see anything through the glass, but I knew they were still there, watching me. While looking around the room, I found a flashlight in one of the drawers. And on the desk, I noticed a camera system. I turned it on, and a bunch of screens turned on, surveilling probably every room in the building. I looked at a screen displaying the show stage. Freddy the bear was on the stage, staring right into the camera. I looked at another oh, shoot. screen that displayed oh, yeah. that I had seen earlier. There was an animatronic poking its head out of the curtains. I remember that the employee told me that it was named Foxy, and why he was in disrepair. He was still turned on? Then I started to realize it didn't matter if they were turned on or not. These things were fucking alive. And they were evil. I That's because of William Afton. Yeah. Near him. He's right. So I kept my eyes yeah, I am. Yeah. I, I sat watching the camera for what felt like hours, and it probably was. The tapping on the glass had stopped, and the fox was still peeking its head out of its curtain. I had been so preoccupied with staring at the idle animatronic fox that I forgot to check any of the other cameras. I looked at the screen displaying the empty stage where Freddy was standing not too long ago. He was gone. Suddenly, all of the camera screens filled with static. I was huh? blinded from viewing anything in the building. What? I started to Dude, did you see that? Yeah, I did! I found an old phone hidden behind De a pile of papers. Definitely! I picked it up to hear a dial tone. Oh dear God! I don't like I this. I started to dial for my parents, but I realized it would be a better idea to call the police. Hey, chill out. It's I okay. There was no ringing sound, just silence from the phone. I hung it up to try again. Yeah, we should Still chill out. Tone this time. Like, the remember this? Chill out, bruh. I got up to take one last peek out of the glass to see if the coast was clear. So funny. I turned the yeah, you are. The, <laughs> the shadow of the bunny standing in the dark corner. He's blocking that exit. Oh, that is the only am funny. As well. With my tail. Yeah. Looking straight at me through the glass. Uh, make it in, please off. make it in. I, I can't there. watch. There was no way I would try to outrun them. I, I can't watch. Hey, 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 it's okay. Hey, 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 chill out. Come here now. Alex is eight. It's not like he's a toddler. Keep your body turned and listen, okay? You probably already called it's his or okay. my parents, and I'm sure Girlfriend. they're all the way here now. Mwah, 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 I checked my uh, watch. You're it right. was almost 12 already. The cameras were still filled with static, and I was unable to do anything at that point. All I could do was shut my you. eyes and wait. Just chill out. I shut my watch. eyes, okay. thinking that everything would be mm. fine come morning time. All right. I still don't know how, but I had actually fallen asleep from Yeah, chill out. Watch the video. I didn't yeah. think falling asleep in this kind of situation was possible. Like... Your body would be in fight or flight mode. Your adrenaline would be rushing. Your body just wouldn't let you fall asleep. But somehow I did. Oh, please tell me the video's over. It's not over yet. Pay attention. Yeah, he's right. I woke to the sickening sound of familiar banging on the glass. It wasn't just a dream. I was still in that godforsaken place. I checked my watch and saw that it was 4 a.m. I had been asleep for four hours. I noticed that the light in the room was a lot dimmer, almost to the point where I couldn't even see the papers that were hanging on the wall anymore. God! Something was coming from the yeah. right side. I didn't even turn on the light because I didn't want to see that sickening face. Of oh, what the door. heck is going on? Uh, I don't know. Flickered. Yeah. I knew the power dying at that time. Yeah, I don't dead. know. Because these doors seemed to be. Uh, I don't know either. I made a plan to run. As yeah, like as what I the heck? Through the left door, if the power went out. Like, what the, the heck? Yeah, yeah, what the heck, dude? Yeah! I heard even more. I took one last look at the camera screens to see that the curtain at Pirate's Cove had been completely opened and Foxy was nowhere in sight. Just as I saw this, the room went dark. The camera screens turned off and the power doors opened. I hate the dark. The power was out. Girlfriend, chill out. Yeah, yeah chill out. Turning the flashlight on. The bunny wasn't anywhere in sight, to my luck. <laughs> I ran down the hall. I slipped in something on the floor. Ew. I felt yeah, hard on ew. my Ew. I felt like I broke it. Ouch. I yeah. I in pain, but tried my hardest not to scream. I felt the substance that I slipped in with my fingers. I smelled it. 
It was blood. I was laying in a big puddle of blood. I immediately assumed it was the blood of Alex and almost let out a cry of pain and sickness. I tried to get on my feet, but the pain in my knee was unbearable. Guys, did you just hear that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I didn't know where to go. Or how yeah, to I did also. They would surely catch me now. Poor fella. My I know, right? Run out because I heard heavy footsteps coming fast down the hall. I had to act quickly, but I didn't know what to do. I looked around me and found a door. I didn't care what room it led to. I just had At to. At least the video is about over. The footsteps were getting closer. I shut the flashlight and managed to reach the door. Hmm. Huh, let me check. The door open. I crawled into the room and pulled the door shut as yeah, quickly and quietly as I could. I waited in the darkness as the footsteps came closer and closer until they were right outside the door. And then it stopped. Whatever it was was right outside the door. God. <laughs> I put my hand over my yeah. head to muffle my breathing and leaned against the door to block it in case the thing tried to get in. It was probably about ten seconds. But it felt like a minute before the sound of pots and pans banging around echoed across the building. And I heard footsteps move away from the door. Wait, what the? Pots and pans? It it's from the kitchen! The yeah! The on. Yeah, it's from the kitchen! The light revealed that I had been sitting in a supply closet. I looked around for any kind of weapon. Wait, that's, that's Bonnie's favorite room, room the supply closet. closet. Yeah, it is. This was seemingly the perfect weapon to bash a robot in the face with. I waited about a minute until I thought the coast was clear, and I slowly opened the door and crawled out of the room. My knee wasn't hurting too bad anymore, but I didn't want to take the chance of putting pressure on it. Crawling was quieter anyway. As I crawled through the pitch black hallways, banging into walls, I noticed that almost all of the floors in these hallways were sticky. The stickiness caused my skin to make a peeling sound off the floor each time I lifted my hands or legs. I didn't think too Wait, what? The stickiness or anything S for that matter. Stickiness? Yeah, the stickiness. Alex. Yeah, like, what the heck? Uh, the yeah, like, like, what the heck? This... I the would be low enough I'm gonna hide after this video. Hey, don't do that. We like to hang out with you. Yeah, we do. Chill out. I turned on the flashlight yeah, and shined it at the yeah just chill out. It was Foxy. Looks like a broken, eh, all right. pieces missing altogether. His legs didn't even seem to mm. be finished, as his robotic legs were not covered up by plastic fur, and his feet were just two pieces of metal. He raised his hook hand and started moving quickly towards me. I managed to get up on my feet, ignoring the pain on my knee. I held up the crowbar, ready to swing it like a baseball bat. As soon as the robot got close enough, I swung the crowbar to hit his robotic leg, causing him to fall to the what? I took this opportunity to smash his robotic head numerous times with the crowbar, causing gears to fly out of its face. The eyes were still glowing, fixed on me, but his legs seemed broken, and that was enough to stop him from getting- Guys, did you just hear that? Yeah. The robots no yeah, I did. Happened, so hurry. Well, that's window, like my laughter. Inside. Of course it is. But don't worry. I never I worry. Footsteps coming from down the hall. I swung the crowbar again. The window cracked, but didn't break. The footsteps were right outside the room now. I swung the crowbar one more time, as hard as I could, finally causing the glass to shatter. I took a painful leap off both legs to reach the window. I pulled myself up. Oh god, this is bad! Grabbed my leg. This is bad, really bad! Hey dude, chill, it's okay. It's all right. You're right. Asked Freddy. Without thinking, I pulled my eh, is it done yet? It no, it's not done. So be calm. All right, I'll calm down. I didn't care about the returning pain to my knee. I hopped away from the building as fast as I could, with the only sound I heard being the screaming of the robots to come back. I screamed Alex's name at the top of my lungs uh, before getting in my car and speeding to my house. Hey, it's all right, just chill. I called the cops yeah, and explained the you're whole right, situation. I'll chill. And I called my parents afterwards. Yeah, you better. My mother picked up the phone after calling three chill. times, asking why I was calling so late. Sweetheart, it's okay. She screamed. I'm not mad phone, at you. I'm just saying. Begging me to tell her it was a joke when I told her I lost Alex. I'm not mad at when you. I'm just arrived, saying. 
I showed them a picture of Alex and explained to them about the robots. Because I'm a friendly animatronic to Gregory. To yeah, he is. I tried to make of course I am. As realistic as possible. They looked at each other like I was crazy, like anyone would. However, they assured me that they would have the police department look into it. After investigating, the police found nothing. No blood, no broken glass, no foul smells, no Alex. Oh, God. The animatronics were yeah, oh, God. Found. It's been almost a month. Alex was never found. My aunt and uncle still cry their eyes out every day. Is it over touch. yet? But Don't worry, it's just about to be. That are inside of that place. Yeah, it's about Anyone to be. Chill out. Alright, I'll chill out. I can't prove what happened to Alex. But I know oh, I love this music. Them. I think Those I'm gonna dance to it. Everything to do with it. Cause I am Glamrock Freddy after all. Yeah! Did you guys like my dancing? Yeah, I did. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> did you guys like my dancing? Yeah! Yeah, definitely! Yeah, that's fantastic! Yeah! Yeah, rock! Yeah, I, uh, yeah, boyfriend, I loved your dancing, I did, but, thank god the video's over, yeah, uh, I'm going now. Wait, girlfriend, where are you going? Come back here. Wait, wait, no, 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 put me down, put me down. Put me down, put me down. Gr Girlfriend, chill. Chill. It's okay. Listen, the, the video is over, but look. It's okay. Okay? Just chill out. Okay? <sighs> Guys, wait here. I'm going to go talk to my girl for a second. All right. <laughs> look. Look. Girlfriend, I know you're scared, but look, did you enjoy that video? No? Oh, we did. But look, just chill out, okay? It's okay, girlfriend. Look, I'm pretty sure we'll find something you like, okay? But it is Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, because look, we're Five Nights at Freddy's characters. <sighs> you're right. Of course I'm right, because look. I'm your boyfriend, after all. And look, it's serious business, okay? You're right. For God's sake. You know, I actually want to kiss you. What, you do? Yes. Watch. Oh my God, I'm in love. Of course you're in love, honey bun. I love you too. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the video, hon. And did you like my dancing? Yes. Well, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. <laughs> that's so swell, guys. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Hope you like this video and enjoy the day. Yeah. And all that stuff. So, what do we say, fellas? Like and subscribe and enjoy the day. Yeah, like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe and enjoy the video. Yeah, yeah. And what do we all say? Goodbye, fellas. Yeah, goodbye.